I'm gonna be looking to see the foreign boy Mike videos. And what's up, the foreign boy gang? already know how it is you already know how we coming before we even get into this video y'all already know what i need y'all to do i need y'all to like i need y'all to comment i need y'all to hit that subscribe button if y'all want to be a part of the foreign boy game and if you're already a part of the foreign boy game then why go on my youtube done know now let me stop so today hey today hey today 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 so today 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 what i got for y'all is I got for y'all five things I wish I knew before starting my YouTube channel because when I got on YouTube, I ain't know absolutely nothing. So I'm not even gonna sit up here and front like I knew how to add all these cool effects to my videos. No, I didn't know how to do that. So today I'm gonna share these things with y'all just in case y'all know. Y'all want to like, you know, fix these mistakes before y'all start your YouTube channel or make your YouTube channel better. Cause as y'all know, I still am a beginner on YouTube. So why my beginner small YouTuber community? Come with me. Come join this journey. And I'm like, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. First one is time management. As y'all know, we all have a life outside of YouTube. We all have a life outside of school. So it may be hard to, you know, balance school and YouTube or balance work and YouTube, college and YouTube. You know what I mean? But basically time management, you know, I wish I knew, you know, when and what time to post because when i first started i was just posting whenever i feel like it you need to map out your schedule basically what i'm saying is plan out what you're gonna post and when you're gonna post it let's say you know i'm gonna do an hour of recording or an hour of planning and i'm gonna do an hour to film and then i'm gonna do take three hours to edit boom that's the time that's time management you're managing your time See, when I first started, I was like, you know, um, YouTube gonna be easy because I had practice till 5.30 and then my upload time was 10 o'clock at the time, but now my upload time is 8 o'clock because Corona. Oh, basically planning out your time when you're gonna post. I don't know why I keep doing that, but planning out your time when you're going to post. And I know I said that a while, but let's go ahead and get to the next one. Number two editing i really did wish i knew how to edit before i started on youtube when i started my first video i had to use the software imovie most beginner youtubers use that when they're starting on their phone or their iphone i don't know maybe you use something else but like i said basically i wish i knew how to edit i did not know how to do the cool effects like i do now when i had imovie all i used to do is i used to know how to do add clips um but my first video, the How I Lost My Virginity video, um, it took me two weeks to learn how to use the iMovie and I still didn't know what to do because editing, I mean, iMovie, easy, but it's not. When I first started, I was looking at that like, like, what is this? Like, what, what am I sitting here about to do? But basically you have to, you must learn how to edit. Do not be stuck like me. Cause I was like, I only knew how to add clips and then I didn't know how to do anything else. Um, I didn't know how to cut out the parts, you know, of raw footage when I wasn't saying anything. So as you can see, that video was just lots of raw footage. Um, so basically, yeah, make sure you know how to edit. Please, 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 please know how to edit and not get on YouTube because editing brings your video together. Yeah, filming is a part, but your editing brings the video together. So please guys, if you guys are beginner YouTubers, please make sure you know how to edit. Don't be like me and not know what to do. Number three, equipment. So as you guys know, I have a ring light and I have a tripod now. Um, I really did wish I had a tripod beginning, like starting YouTube, like when I first started. And I wish I had a ring light because you know, I couldn't, I couldn't, natural light was not working with me. Cause like I said, I had practice till 5.30 and I still had to come home, film, edit and all of that. And I didn't know, like, you know, how to, like, do all of that at that time. But I feel like the tripod or the little vlogging thing would have came in handy because, like I said, I was just putting my phone on a flat surface and recording. And I didn't even have a stable, like, background or place to record. I used to record anywhere in my house. 
Every time I got home, it was always dark. So I always had to film in some very bogus <laughs> So I wish I had, you know, the lighting or the tripod, or you could even use a lamp, but we didn't have any at the time. So I had to use some raw nat <laughs> light that was not helping me at all. Four. So I wish I knew how the copyright stuff worked. So basically, you know, if you're playing like some music that isn't yours, basically, you know, you copyright it and they put it under your video and it says, you know, the name of the song, who it belongs to, da, 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 and you start making money. They start basically making money off your videos. So my dumb self, when I made like that sped up, like uh, Lil Nas intro in my old videos, um, I use it for a decent amount of videos until I got a new intro. Um, but basically, I wish I knew how the copyright thing works. So basically, when I was looking on YouTube, they were like, oh, um, it's only 30 seconds of the song that you can use and not get copyrighted. So I did that, you know, I'm like, I'm not gonna get copyrighted. Tell me why I post my video. I get hit with a copyright claim. So I thought a copyright claim, you know, was an actual copyright strike. So I was like, oh my God, they're gonna take my channel down. I don't know what to do. They're gonna take my channel down and I don't know what to do. So basically, turns out copyright claim and a copyright strike is two different things. Copyright strike, if that means you just don't care and you just put it in hella non-copyright, hella copyright music that you're not supposed to be using. Um, you, I heard my friend told me that you could uh, list the, uh, that you don't own copyrights and stuff like that, but I don't feel like doing all of that. So what I did was, um, my brother told me about this site called Tight Beats on YouTube, and basically, it's a tight beat, basically, and you can use it for like the background music in your videos. So that's what I said. Number five, consistency. I did really wish I did know how to be consistent, because like I said before, I just posted whenever I felt like it. I felt like, oh, I'll just post whatever I feel like and I'll get views anyway. And then I just started to see myself not get views. So I was like, wait. So I'll, that's when I came up with a schedule, which my schedule is Monday, Wednesday, Friday. It took me a while to find a schedule because of my, you know, practice and stuff like that. But consistency is key. So please guys, if you guys are about to start a YouTube channel, I'm just giving you these tips so you guys cannot end up the way I did, not knowing nothing on YouTube, but consistency. I was always inconsistent on YouTube. I never posted the days I said I was. I was just looking stupid out here. And the more subscribers you gain, the more they're gonna start looking forward to like seeing you these days. Like, you know, oh, he said he posts Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at eight o'clock, I'm gonna be looking to see the foreign boy Mike videos. And that's, that's what y'all see nowadays. Am I right? Am I right? Y'all do see me post every Friday. I mean, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 8 o'clock on the dot. Never miss it. When the Snapchat post come, you know, it might not, you know, be there. But please stay consistent. Because I told y'all, I was not consistent. Like, I would post whenever. Just like whenever. I'll just be out of the blue. Because I'll be lazy. So... Sometimes I am lazy now, but guess what? I still, I still get on YouTube and do these videos for y'all. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. And you already know how I do. I chuck the deuces.